Now, what I already mentioned to you is that this is, of course, just a worst case view. So this is what you just calculated here. If we were to consider a billion different possible solutions, and the numbers would, of course, get much higher if we said we are ready to consider 10 billion or 100 billion possible solutions, but still they would not be in the thousands. And that's actually the surprising thing, because if we look how well those algorithms perform in practice, they perform dramatically better. So for independent set and click, you can usually solve instances far over a thousand vertices. And for three set, there are even annual competitions in which participants solve instances with, I would say, almost in the tens of thousands of variables. This varies by competition. So there's some competition where it's in the hundreds and the thousands, but you can solve instances up to 10,000. And the reason for that is that it seems like most of the instances or inputs to NP-complete problems that we encounter in practice are in a way well-behaved. They rarely tend to be worst-case instances that force our algorithms to run in their maximum time. And there's also, besides search trees, other very interesting techniques that you can use to further improve your running time of your algorithms. And I would now like to introduce to you preprocessing as another technique to deal with NP-completeness.